Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the Director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. In our modern world that includes smartphones, hardly a day passes without us snapping a photograph. As early as 1853, LaGrange could boast of having a local photographer. Advertising in the LaGrange Reporter, Mr. Pleasant Prophet stated that he had devoted his whole time and attention to the business of photography. At that time, images were impressed upon glass as a daguerreotype, and Mr. Prophet would have been known as a daguerrean. Prophet's gallery was located opposite the Baptist Church on Broad Street. Pleasant Prophet suffered from an unidentified degenerative disease. The LaGrange Reporter of May 5, 1873 reveals that he hired Columbus photographer J.W. French to help with his business. By that time, Prophet was barely able to walk, but he kept abreast of advances in photography and continued to work through most of the decade. Other early LaGrange photographers were Childress and Lee, J.M. Tomlinson, and Julius Lindsay Schaub. J.L. Schaub came to LaGrange from Atlanta around 1880. Once a prominent photographer in Atlanta, he became equally well known in LaGrange and Troop County. His most famous photograph is that of the visit of Jefferson Davis to LaGrange on his way to the unveiling of the statue of Senator Benjamin Harvey Hill in Atlanta in 1886. He had served in the Confederate Army in Company B of the 15th North Carolina Volunteers and was commander of the Troop County Confederate Veterans when he died. Schaub died December 31, 1911, and is buried in Hillview Cemetery. It appears that Schaub's studio was taken over by his daughter, Miss Martha L. Schaub, in 1912, but after that date, we find no further information about Miss Schaub. Other photographers in LaGrange in the early part of the 20th century were Milton D. Fowler, Robert L. Smith, and William C. Holmes. Holmes's studio in 1928 was located in the Morgan Building on North Court Square. In 1929, Snelson Davis succeeded Holmes in the location, and Davis is the best-known 20th century LaGrange photographer. Almost everyone who lived in LaGrange from 1929 to 1956 had their photograph taken by Davis, who was described as the colorful local photographer. Davis's partner was Samuel C. Taskett, another important LaGrange photographer. Snelson Davis did have some competition from other photographers during his long career in LaGrange, though. From 1938 through 1945, Alonzo Carter and Leon E. Jenkins also had photographic studios in town. By 1946, Mr. Jenkins had a partner, Quentin N. Johnson, and two women photographers had entered the market. Unfortunately, Mrs. Daisy Milton and Mrs. Ellen C. Pope, who appears to have purchased Alonzo Carter's studio, were no longer in business after 1948. By 1950, Snelson Davis listed himself in the city directory as an aerial photographer and his studio was managed by Mr. Taskett. Troop County Archives is fortunate to have photographs taken by many of these photographers. Photographs are one of Troop County Archives' most valuable resources and we would like to acquire more. If you have identified photographs of LaGrange and Troop County areas or people who once lived here, we would love for you to donate them. To donate, visit Legacy Museum on Main. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.